Your moves are magical! She and the bracelet mesh together so perfectly, like it's her body part and not an accessory. I am so jealous of her. The shoot went incredible. Not just the models, but even Scott was left speechless by Emma's beautiful expressions and spellbinding presence. Even the popular designer Julius Taylor was mighty impressed watching Emma's powerful moves that escalated the beauty of his bracelet. Choosing her over Amber Lee is the best decision of my life. When the shoot was finally over, Emma removed her makeup and changed into her own clothes. Lisa hurried over to her with her buzzing phone. Emma, it's Nathan. Do you want to talk to him or should I hang up? Emma's gaze just darkened, but she took the phone from Lisa. Hello. Emma, uh, have you heard any news? Emma could sense the dreadful panic hidden behind Nathan's enthusiasm. She decided to play along. Why? What happened? Oh, it's nothing. Listen, I was thinking, how about I fly out to Seattle tomorrow? We can apply for a wedding license there and have the ceremony in a couple of days. The scenery is beautiful and the whole feel of the city is great. We could even extend our stay to a long vacation. It could be our honeymoon. Nathan heaved a sigh of relief on learning that she wasn't aware of the video. Nathan was aware of Emma's family inheritance. Her family owned a multi-million perfume empire. He also knew that her family didn't like him at all. He wanted to make sure they got married before she saw the damaging video. Once she realized that he and Amber had been intimate, she was sure to call off the wedding. After learning what's going on between you and Amber, I don't think getting married to you would be a sensible idea for me. Nathan was shocked to learn that Emma already knew about him and Amber. Emma, you know there's really nothing going on between Amber and me. I already explained what happened in those photos. And what about the video? What justification do you have for the video? How do you know about the video? I'm in Seattle, Nathan. The internet is buzzing with the news. Did you think you could fool me? Emma, please. Trust me, we've been together for so many years. Don't you know that you're the only one I love? Hearing the desperation in Nathan's voice, a triumphant grin curled up on Emma's face. She knew Nathan was trapped in her web, and now it was time to play her trump card. Then let's put it this way, Nathan. One of us has to leave Global. It's either Amber or me. The decision is yours. Emma's words had put Nathan in a dilemma. Amber was the woman he genuinely loved, plus she was pregnant with his child. But Emma had the means to make him a very happy man down the road. He was in a tight spot. Emma, you've always been so supportive. Why are you pressuring me now? If you feel like I'm pressuring you, feel free to go look for Amber. I'm sure she'll be very understanding. A million calculations ran in Nathan's mind. He came up with the conclusion that maybe he should give up Amber. After all, he was the reason behind her success. She could never promise a shining future for him. It's you. I choose you. Give me some time to speak to Amber. I'll come out to meet you and then we'll get married right away. I will be waiting. As Emma hung up the phone, Lisa noticed a scornful look on her face. What's running in your mind? What are you up to? Just wait and watch. Emma stormed out. All she wanted to do was meet her secret husband, Eric. He was cooking delicious steak for her. As she hugged him from behind, he turned to kiss her. Eric, Nathan called me today and said he wanted to marry me immediately. Oh, so are you thinking of marrying him then? How could you even ask that? I admit, I was lost once, but now I know exactly where I'm going. My destination is you. Eric grabbed Emma's waist and pulled her close feeling her soft breath looking straight into her romantic eyes passionately. I want you to get to know me, and be sure you want to spend the rest of your life with me. When we're both certain we want to be together, that's when we'll truly belong to each other. I have endless options. I can have whatever I want. The only thing I've never been able to find before is a partner with a pure heart. And we both share the same goal. Eric leaned over and gave Emma a passionate kiss. A kiss so fiery that it made all her worries melt away. That night, wrapped in his arms, she slept more soundly than she ever had before. On the other hand, Nathan was restless as Emma's request had put him in an impossible predicament. When he opened the door to see Amber waiting for him on the couch, his heart sank. 
Nathan, what should I do? Does this mean I can't be a model anymore? Amber, I was thinking it would be better if you go overseas for a while to take care of your pregnancy. You can come back after the baby's born. And when you do, I promise, I'll do what I've done before. I'll make you famous again. Unfortunately for Nathan, Amber was not as naive as he had thought. You're asking me to leave the country? Are you trying to get rid of me? Emma would be stupid enough to fall for your sweet words, but I'm not. Don't forget, I'm still carrying your child. Plus, I know your dark secrets. Do you really think you can play with fire? That... that's not what I meant. Think carefully, Nathan. Who do you want to spend the rest of your life with? Do you love Emma? Of course not. I love you. Only you. But Emma has given me an ultimatum. If you don't leave Global Pictures, she won't marry me. And seeing the current situation of the Global, I can't afford to miss out on the Miller fortune. Even if you do marry her, you aren't guaranteed the Miller fortune. Her family has broken all ties with her. Thanks to her relationship with you, they will never accept you. Do you really want to pin all your hopes on her, only to end up with nothing? Nathan knew Amber was speaking the truth, but he was still in two minds. Stay with me, Nathan. Then at least we'll have each other and our child. The three of us can build a future together. Isn't that what you want? Amber, I don't know what to say. Please. Nathan, tell me the truth. Do you want me or do you want Emma? But before answering, remember, I'll go straight to the abortion clinic. So choose your answer carefully. Nathan stood in utter silence. His mind was a storm with so many questions. But with each passing second, Amber's fear of losing him was multiplying. So she decided to take the action and immediately call Gary. Gary, I want you to book me a doctor's appointment right away. I want an abortion. Before she could complete, Nathan immediately swiped the phone out of her hands. Don't be so cruel. Did I say I was leaving you? Does that mean you're choosing me after all? How could I let you go? You're the only woman I love and the mother of my child. Amber hugged him tightly as tears of joy began to stream down her face. Oh, I knew you loved me. You've always treated me better than her. But what about Emma now? Global can't survive without her right now. Don't worry. I have a plan. This time Emma won't make it. She is going to regret this. I am going to show her what hell looks like. Amber looked determined and fierce. She was determined to crush Emma, and this time she was going to play dirty. What will happen when Emma will learn that her plan has failed? Will choosing Amber over Emma turn out to be the end of Nathan and Global's career? What is Amber planning to take down Emma? To find out what happens next. Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.